Howdy neighbors, David here. And today I'd like to introduce a new segment on Boondock Stallions called Cooking with David. Today on Cooking with David, we're going to be making cheese buns for those of you sandwich lovers who've been on keto and are missing your bread and sandwich fix. Now, a lot of recipes out there have almond flour and coconut flour, but I think that those things are disgusting and bitter and will make you disgusting and bitter just like the bread. So we're going to stick to eggs and cheese because who doesn't love eggs and cheese? They're friggin' amazing, right? Um, the bread that we're going to be making today will also be paired perfectly with maybe like a chicken bacon club or something like a spicy Italian from Subway. It's not really a hamburger bun situation. Um, it's a chicken sandwich. But let's get this started. Oh, oh, before we get things started, I want you to check out my apron. It's like my favorite thing ever. Uh, my best friend bought it for me at a convention about four or five years ago. It was Texas Frightmare Weekend in Dallas. And if you can't stand the meat, get out of the kitchen. So, prepare to be impressed, and not just be impressed, because if you're impressed with this, uh, Monday night I'll be making a video for Cauliflower Keto Pizza, and I'll be doing it to review a movie of the week, which I'll be posting on Thursday, so look forward to that. Here we're starting out with about a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, normally, I buy the block and grate it myself, I just happen to have some grated mozzarella chillin' and parmesan normally once again I would use fresh parmesan but I had this leftover I was trying to get rid of so from the bottle it is um, after you've added the parmesan you can go ahead and start putting in your seasonings I like to just use oregano and basil and garlic um, the oregano and the basil just shake it until you feel like you've got enough oregano and basil in there maybe a little bit of thyme if you like it um, and then garlic and when I say garlic I mean like a lot of garlic maybe even a ridiculous amount of garlic when you see what I add to it you're gonna be like geez David do you think you put enough garlic in there and I can't stress this enough garlic's amazing I mean it's delicious it's good for you it wards off evil things like vampires ex-girlfriends my mother you know, etc. So I think it's safe to have some or a lot of it on hand. Just a pinch of salt and one egg. And then please make sure that your hands are washed, dried, and sanitized before you stick them in. And I say stick them in and start mashing it with your hands because some people will use a mixer, some people will use a wooden spoon, some people will use a spatula, and these people are extra. You have hands for a reason use them. They're a culinary treasure that should always, always be utilized in cooking. And then just knead it, squish it, form it, scrape the bowl. And when I say scrape the bowl, I mean get to it. Have fun scraping the bowl because you want to get all of it out of there and work it pretty good. Now I haven't picked out a movie for the review that I'm going to be doing this week. I want it to be something 80s. I am planning on doing 10 weeks of Star Wars movies here in the next couple of uh, weeks. I'll get started, but for now I want something cool, something comic booky for my first movie review and keto pizza night. So here's your ball. Voila. Then you take it into two equal halves and flatten it into your bun shape. Put it on a pre-greased pan and get it ready for your oven. You can probably use parchment paper if you like. I prefer a grease pan. Um, set your oven for a solid 350 degrees. And I know I probably should have started by telling you to preheat it, but my bad. Um, 25 to 30 minutes later, depending on how dark you like it, take your Aladdin oven mitt and pull out your cheese bread. Voila, people. That's some good eating. Enjoy your chicken bacon club or a BLT. <laughs>